Hey there everybody, Red X Parasite here, and welcome back to Let's Play Metroid Fusion. In the last episode, we located the source of the overgrowth in Sector 2. We eliminated it and got ourselves the plasma beam back. We also got a message from the computer saying that the Nightmare, a creature kept in Sector 5, had gotten loose and was destroying pretty much everything in its path. And uh, if this room isn't a good example of that, then I don't know what is. So we've been tasked with locating and eliminating it. But first things first, we're going to get ourselves a couple of expansions. Starting off with this power bomb. So fun fact, you don't actually need the power bombs to get to it, but you do have to wait until the nightmare actually destroys this room uh, in order to be able to get to it so you can't get that one early you know as cool as that would be but you remember this room it had had a bunch of uh, you know frozen things and it was cold and now it's not really cold anymore that's fun uh, we don't actually want to go in that room uh, that is an elevator that leads to another sector we actually want to go up into the ceiling here because there's an expansion that I want to get. I'm going to go into this room anyways, so I guess you'll get to see what that that looks like briefly. Now I lost I lost my uh, ceiling hole. Oh, you guys can shoot through walls. That's not very nice. Okay, well, I've taken him out so got a couple gates here you just need to shoot them from both sides and then we'll be able to get in it's somewhere in the floor here there we go and that is a power bomb man the bombs just take forever all right, so now we'll go back to the main path. So we couldn't go through that door before. It was a red door that we, you know, obviously didn't have access to. But now that the nightmare destroyed it, we can get through it just fine. So this area of Sector 5, which we couldn't get to before, is now open to us. All right. I'm going to try to see if I can... Okay, that was that was pretty cool. Um, you can get this one later. You don't have to get it right now. Um, but if you know where that block is and you shoot it on your way down, you should be able to get to it. And I sh there should be some place for me to jump up through the ceiling. There it is. There we go. There are a couple pitfall blocks there. This one's not honestly that bad can, compared to some of the other ones that... Uh, Involve pitfall blocks. There are, there are much worse ones, in my opinion. Ooh, free red X parasite. I'll take it. However, we, we, we do have some water here, uh, which is a bit annoying. And I believe the computer told us that the nightmare can manipulate gravity, so. Yeah. Little subtle hints for what we might be getting uh, from defeating it. This is a little hub area of sorts. I'm gonna head up to the top left corner here. You can see in the mini map that there is a power bomb expansion in this room. So we're gonna grab that. So we don't want to go in that door to the right because that's just gonna be a dead end for us. So let's head up here and. Forget if it's a power bomb block or something else. But there is a power bomb expansion right at the end of this corridor. Um, I believe this is a recharge room right down below me to the left there. Uh, and there's a save room to the right if you want to use that. I don't really need to use either of them, so I'm just going to move on. And we're already at uh, our eye door.
So by the way, if you try to go directly for this energy tank, you will fall down some pit blocks. So take the upper path if you want to get this. Now it's possible to get it by going the direct route, but it's very difficult to do in real time. So I would not recommend it. All right, this is Nightmare. It is a very apt name indeed. Um, during the first part of this phase, we're going to be targeting the reactor on the bottom side. It is manipulating the gravity. I'm not really jumping all that much, but it is kind of slowing, slowing some things down. So that'll mess with your jumping. Once you do enough damage to that, we're going to move to the second phase, uh, where its mass comes off and we have to uh, unload a bunch of missiles into it. It will slowly approach the wall. Uh, you should try to jump. Wow, that was that was kind of awful. Um, you should try to jump off the wall once it gets too close. I'm just gonna yeah try to go for the uh, the kill there. If you have enough missiles, uh, you should be able to do this in two two kind of approaches there. The, the movement where it's floating around in the air is kind of tricky, and that's where they're expecting you to use the space jump to get around it, but it's not the easiest thing to do. Um, so this boss can be particularly tricky if you're trying to do uh, low percent runs. But for beating it, we do get ourselves the gravity suit. Which, uh, I have to say, I really do like the gravity suit in this game. It's uh, purple with green highlights for the old suit parts. And uh, since we got the energy tank that was on the left side here, I'll go into the map, so the one that's like one room down and two rooms over, um, we don't have to go back for that. So if you missed out getting it uh, on the way down, you can just go back and get it now. But luckily, I don't have to. So that, that'll save me a little bit of time, you know. Not that I care too much about the time for this, but. All right, and you're gonna wanna get uh, a good amount of distance here so you can get a Shine Spark or a Speed Booster going so you can Shine Spark. I've, no I've noticed that I've erroneously called uh, Speed Boosting Shine Sparking in quite a, quite a few of the previous parts. Um, they're not technically synonymous, but you know. I'll make that mistake sometimes. So, we're gonna have to do this again, unfortunately. Uh, if you get that power bomb expansion up there, um, actually, you might not have to go back into the previous room, now that I think about it, and I messed that up. Go me! That wasn't too costly of a mistake, though. So we are now here in Sector 4. We took a little uh, secret elevator. I believe that is the only way that you can get out of that area in Sector 5. Um, I believe you get blocked off. Yeah, there, there are pitfall blocks, so there's no other way to get out of that area. There is a power bomb tank here. Just kind of, you know, chilling in uh, this room. It's a secret tunnel. We're going to head over to the right here because there's another expansion. Uh... Well, that was weird. I, got... I think I got hurt by the enemy again while it's frozen. Most of the time, uh, frozen enemies won't be able to hurt you. So there's that missile tank. Now we're just going to head back. It's a good thing we have a lot of health, because I'm just being kind of careless and taking a lot of damage throughout these sections. We're going to fall down this shaft and head to the left. If you head to the right, you will get stuck pretty quickly. So yeah, every time I get to this point, I usually powerbomb those blocks, just because... I forget that the first row is bomb blocks and then there are missile blocks, so that's always fun. There is an expansion hidden off to the right. This is a power bomb. We're going to be getting primarily power bomb expansions from here on out. I mean, that's not to say that we won't get any missile expansions. We still have a decent number of those left, but 
It's just going to be a lot of power bombs since we kind of need to catch up on those. And I'll take that. Now, the one, the one thing I should mention about this area um, is there there is an Easter egg that you can do that you have to essentially charge up a Shine Spark in this area and carry it all the way to uh, that big room that we entered this area from. So that, you know, two by three room up there on the map. And uh, basically get out a different way than you're intended to and then get back to the navigation room. I am going to be showing off that Easter egg, just not in that way. Uh, there's an alternate way that you can do it, at least in the American version, like the NTSC version of the game. Uh, and I'll, I'll show that off because it's way easier and yeah, it's just a lot less of a headache. Um, for the record, I haven't actually done the other Shine Spark method. So like the proper way that the developers intended you to access that Easter egg, but needless to say, it's very difficult. I, I, I really should try it sometime, but yeah, for now. I'm just going to move on. So there's an energy tank off to the right here. Uh, it is worth noting that uh, you have to kill those enemies there on the left side, but not absorb too many of the, the X-Parasites that come out, because you need these uh, two gold ones on the right to spawn in for the door to unlock. I also completely failed to mention that we uh, deactivated the security level 4 locks down, down in that room, so we can go through red doors now. So, I believe that's that's what will prevent you from moving forward if you try going to the right. We'll see. You know, I'm going to try to pay attention here and see what actually prevents you from moving forward. There is a uh, missile expansion here beneath the floor. So make sure you grab that. Wow, the game's just handing Red X Parasites out like candy. Not that I am complaining about that, because, you know, I quite like to, I, I like them quite a bit. <laughs> that is what I meant to say. All right, so here I'm, I'm going to show off a fun little glitch. It's going to take me a little minute to set up. So if you freeze these enemies and uh, you kill them right as you are about to land on them, so if you shoot them, basically, you know, shoot down right as you're about to land. Uh, the game just thinks you're on ground, so uh, it will be deactivated if you jump or if you do like a bomb jump or anything else. That's just a neat little glitch. I don't think it has any practical purpose. There's the red door, by the way. Um, doesn't have any practical purpose to it, but it's just a fun, a fun little thing that you can do. So we're going to keep making our way through this area of Sector 4. I do have to say, I really like... Uh, this area, I think the, the aesthetics are really great. Uh, the music is also great. Definitely one of those standout areas as far as the design is concerned. All right. So there's a missile expansion over there to the right. Um, we can't destroy these right now. If we try to power bomb it, uh, nothing will happen. Uh, you can actually shine spark through those or, you know, do a speed booster jump. There is a slightly easier way to get that missile expansion here, though, as I am about to show you. So there's a gap in the ceiling right there. It's a two lock wide gap. And you actually need to do this part to get this power bomb expansion anyways. Um, there's a hidden tunnel right there. And uh, that will actually get you to this missile expansion without having to shine spark through so if you want to get both of them this is the best way to do it so we're back in the kind of regular sector 2 themed area and freeze this guy so that we can jump up and get that and actually I usually power bomb there because there's a bunch of these enemies here in the room if you use power bomb Gets rid of all of them and sucks up most of the X-Parasites for you. So, we have a data room off to the right. And this is what you're supposed to do. So, you're supposed to get in and uh, 
get some upgrade data. But I'm going to do a kind of clever jump, move forward a little bit, uh, aim down and shoot a missile, and freeze that enemy. You're not supposed to be able to freeze that enemy that way. And uh, we're going to show off what happens when you you don't get the upgrade that you're supposed to get, even though you're not supposed to get it. Trust me, it makes sense. Samus, I'm impressed that you were able to make it back. That trick with the Shine Spark was very ingenious. That's our Samus Aran. Magnificent. Truly magnificent. As a reward, let's fill her in on our plan. Hmm, computer? That is not advisable. Bah. No more joking. Samus, get back on task. Is your objective clear? I wonder how many players will see this message. So yeah, the, the developers clearly intended for you to be able to uh, to see this, but yeah, the Shine Spark method that uh, they intended was very, very difficult. So that's why they had that part in the message about you know how many players will see this message. So now you have to get back in. This is... Uh, a little bit tricky um, this one like so I'm, I'm going for that middle one right there there we go and again you have to like move forward as you shoot the missile in order to uh, get it to fit within the gap and hit the enemy so this data room has diffusion it was added to our missiles and that will let us charge our missiles um, so one thing I'll definitely say about this game is that is the strongest missiles have probably ever been. Um, just because of the stacking nature of uh, the power bombs, the ice missiles. Also, I should you know grab this before I leave this area. That's you know what I came here for. Um, but you get you get super missiles, you get ice missiles on top of the super missiles, and then you get diffusion. Which allows you to charge them on top of that. So, your missiles are kind of OP in this game. You have a lot of them, too. I mean, not really any more than most other Metroid games. You only get 250 total. But, still. This, this is probably one of the games where I feel like you are the most armed to the teeth by the end of it. If you, if you get everything. So, I took a little detour here to grab a power bomb because that is actually the last upgrade that we need in Sector 4 here. So, um, once you grab that, we're completely good for things in Sector 4. And also, uh, right at the beginning of the LP, I said that I would talk about uh, the perks of playing on a completed save file, and I haven't. Until now. Uh, so, the perks that you'll get is you'll be able to see how many of each type of uh, expansion that you have total so we have 14 out of 20 energy tanks uh, as well as seeing if you've gotten everything in a given sector so it checks off energy tanks missiles and power bombs and then there's also the timer there in the the bottom left corner which is all handy but for now let's get back on the uh, the main track you upgraded your missiles that's unusual there was no word from HQ. A procedural error, error, I'm sure. Even so, I did not approve of bypassing security level 4. From now on, you will use more discretion. In any case, Samus, do you remember the security robot you faced earlier? I believe the X have infected it. That is to say, they have claimed the organic components that form its neural network. It has entered Sector 6 NOC. I don't know what it's planning, but let's not wait to find out. Samus, you know what to do. to Sector 6, quickly. So I do find it interesting that uh, this game, you know, references neural networks uh, and organic components, you know, in a computer. Just considering uh, how big of a field uh, artificial intelligence and machine learning has become in recent years. So we're going to head to Sector 6 and uh, take care of some of that. Security robot seems to have gotten much stronger. This worries me. Be careful. But we have another problem. Once you're done, leave NOC immediately. The SAX is tracking you. Don't stay longer than you must. Understood? 
Okay, so I think this is going to be a good place to end off this episode. So thank you very much for watching. I have been Red X Parasite. Signing out.